I'm gonna teach you how to fix your unusable underwater photos. For that, we're gonna use Lightroom and we start now. You're gonna import your photo into Lightroom. So here, in my case, I'm gonna use this one. I've shot this one using a GoPro Hero 4. It's very old. And as you can see, the picture is very flat, desaturated and clear. So step one is gonna be to bring back some of the clarity. So we go to the basic clarity and we're gonna push it. In my case, I'm gonna push it all the way to the end. Then we gonna add some contrast into it. Not so much. Already you can see there is a difference. Next step, we are gonna adjust the perspective. I like to do it in the beginning so at least I have a clear idea of what I'm doing. So for that, we're gonna go to transform and to the guided upright tool. For this one, you just need to adjust the perspective in Lightroom. We're using this tool, you will tell to Lightroom that these lines and these slides are supposed to be straight. So first line, pull, slide. If you draw just one line, it doesn't work. You need to have at least two lines. So now I did the first one. Now I'm gonna do the second one. And when I'm gonna release, you're gonna see that it's already gonna change something. Now we're gonna do the vertical lines. The first one, and then the second one. And now, when you're done, you just click escape. And as you can see, it's perfect now. So that was our first step. First step was the basics. Now we have a good canvas to start. So step two is gonna be the colors. We're gonna start with HSL. I love this tool. You can basically do anything you want related to colors. <sighs> <laughs> And look what I have here, sitting on my lap. Oh, this is Marmaid and this is Crumpets. Mm -hmm. Okay, go back. Back to HSL, step one. I wanna have the perfect blue for the pool because this blue look a little bit turquoise. Turquoise. Turquoise, so turquoise. That's how you're supposed to say it. Turquoise. <laughs> so for this I'm gonna go something plus aqua one plus 11 plus 24 yeah this looks about right saturation we're gonna add some saturation into it or the aquas 48 and the blue 72 maybe a bit less and now the blue is a little bit too bright, so go to luminance. This tool is amazing. You just see this tiny tool, you just click on it. You come here, you pick, you click, and it picks any color you want. You just slide up or slide down. So we're gonna just slightly reduce the light. Yeah, that's enough. So then now that we are done with the colors of the pool and the water, the main character is a bit bluish and flat and there's no separation between him and the background. So we want to create a separation in the colors. This picture is a JPEG. And in JPEGs, you cannot just pull out the skin tones like you will do with a raw picture. So for this, I have a, time, a trick. I use the adjustment brush. You're gonna start with the value exposure to the maximum. And if you want to have this value always to the max per default, so you just open the tool, push it to the end, don't use the tool and close it. So whenever you open the tool, it will always be there. And why I put exposure to the max, it helps me know what I'm painting. So now we're gonna start painting a mask over him. It doesn't need to be very clean. We're gonna just do it very fast. If the picture is going only to Instagram, doesn't really matter that much. So we just do a rough mask. By the way, I've shot this picture last week 
here in Bali with a friend of mine. His name is Carlos, that's him on the picture. We were bored at home and because of the current situation, nobody can leave. Actually here in Bali, we can leave the house, but we're trying to stay as home as much as possible to, to fix this situation. He got the idea to jump in the pool with all his clothes and take this picture. And at the end, I'm happy with the result. It was fun. The shoot didn't took us long. It took us maybe 20 minutes max. Back to it. Now we have drawn a mask around our subject. We can remove the exposure. We can play with the values here, the temperature and the tint to get him some skin tones, to get like some of the colors of the skin tones back. So we're gonna introduce some yellow, not too much. 15 seems about right, but here, if you look closely, when we push the yellows, we introduce some greens. Some greens came in with the yellows. So to balance the greens out, we're gonna push the tint to the magenta side. Now, much better. And if you click on this one, you can turn off the tool so you can see the difference before and after. Okay, there's a big jump. If you look at the colors in the cup, the mug, the magazine, we gained a lot of colors back. If I want my character to stand out even more, I can add some contrast into the character and I'm gonna use the mask that I've already drawn, add some clarity into it. By adding clarity, I add contrast in the character, but the darks are too dark now. So I'm gonna push the shadows to balance it out and I want the the main character to pop a bit more so I'm gonna push the highlights I want to give the impression that he's in the center of a scene where he get hit by the light from up and this will take me to my next step step three so step three we is the final adjustment and we need to make our subject pop and stand out compared to the rest of the picture. We're gonna use a radial filter to start. That's a quick tip and trick I like to do because in this picture, it's very blurry in the corner. It's an old GoPro and it's underwater. So I'm gonna use this trick to make the, the picture look sharper and create an illusion of depth of field. So I'm gonna go under my main character draw a big circle and this circle is supposed to represent the area where he's standing the area where the chair is so i'm gonna push the texture all the way up and push these effects all the way to the outside a bit down and now it looks like the area where he's standing, where his foot is, is much sharper than the rest of the picture. And that's what I'm looking for. We're gonna do the same, but this time on the two walls surrounding the subject. So we're gonna use graduated filter, draw a nice line that goes from one side to the other. For this one, we're gonna add texture as well, not too much, I think 80 should be enough. And in this one, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna darken the sides to emphasize the middle. So something like minus 80 should be enough. We're gonna do the same in the other side. You can always go back to the initial picture with the backslash key on your keyboard. Okay, so as you can see, it's a big jump between the first one, the initial picture and now. Well, now we create the illusion that the sides are dark and the center of the picture is very bright. But above him, it doesn't match the rest of the picture light-wise. So now that we've darkened the sides, we need to add some lights on the top, on the surface, so it matches the rest of the scene. Because we have like a light of, like a halo of light around the subject on the ground, but no lights above him. So to add this, we're gonna use radio filter again, draw a giant filter, giant circle above him. And we're gonna go to remove exposure, add just a tiny bit, something like 40. Then we push the highlights. 
we want to give the impression that the light is very bright coming from above we push the shadows a little bit and by by doing this you see that the, we have a grayish layer adding on top for that it's easy we can just add clarity to check the before and after again just turn off radio filter it does make a big difference so we're gonna keep it when you reach this step on a picture it's good to just lean back take the time to look at it see if you want to change anything what's even better is to change completely the picture look at something different look at another picture start editing another one and then come back to this one and then you will see other tweaks or stuff that you want to change so in my case i see that the picture is not framed well now it looks much but I like the final result. I'm happy with how it came out. This was my first tutorial and probably not my last. Tell me in the comment section what do you want me to teach you next and see you on the next one.